You want to take your PS5 on the go? I got you. And we're back, DLG fam, once again with another incredible video. Bienvenidos a todos al canal DLG. Ustedes ya saben que en este canal se habla español. So if you have any questions, algunas preguntas, déjenlos en los comentarios abajo. Leave your comments down below. So guys, PlayStation released these two items, one on March 24, 2005, and the other one on December 17th, 2011. What am I talking about? Bam! Wait a minute, there's still something missing here. Bam! Right there, guys, the PlayStation Portal taking you into the future, that's right. And what I was talking about, those other two items, Obviously, you guys know, the original PSP released on March 24, 2005. Yeah, I got one of those. I remember I did go to those late night releases that they used to do at GameStop. They don't do them anymore because everything is shipped to your house nowadays. And I also have the other one, the PSP Vita, which was released on December 17, 2011. And the funny part of it all, they both still work. So, let's go ahead and unbox the PlayStation Portal and see what type of a... Yep. Here we go again. To live in, in LA is the place to be. I told you guys that ambulance 24 seven, nonstop. Let's see what this little device looks like and what can it do? Man, oh man, check it out guys. It only took Sony approximately about 12 years to come out with another mobile version of a PlayStation system. This one, let's go ahead and take it out of the box and Right off the bat, I'll tell you guys, this will set you back $199 plus tax, USD of course, like always. But let's see what comes in here. And you know me, gotta be gentle with the box, but eventually I might wind up throwing this thing away, not the PlayStation Portal, but the box itself because uh, yeah, I don't have any more room to store these boxes. All right, so let's go ahead and take this out. There we go. Okay, so there's another box inside of this box and remote player lecture. What is this? What the heck is this? Look at that guys. That thing is stuck to the freaking box itself. I think I wasn't supposed to take this box out of the other box. Look at that right there guys. We got the PlayStation branding on the pull tab and if you pull it out. Ooh, okay, this is a pretty neat presentation. All right, let's go ahead and pick this up. Ooh, guys, okay. Man, this is a DualSense controller split in half. All right, with the extended base on the backside of it and a freaking iPad just slapped on right in the middle. But man, look at that right there, guys. You get your options button on the right-hand controller with the mute, the toggle mute button for the actual mic right there. And on the left side, you get your directional pad, your thumbstick, your PlayStation button, as you guys can see right there, that, just like the one that is on the actual controller. And you get your create button right there. If you ever thought about why the f is my wireless bill so damn high? Let me tell you about Mint Mobile who I'm partnering with for today's video. Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for as low as $15 a month and you don't have to sacrifice any speed, coverage, or data. They're built on the nation's largest 5G network and they keep costs low because they cut out the middleman. That's right. There's no sales reps or anyone involved trying to sell you something. They sell directly online to the consumer. Why should you pay more to have the same type of service? Check out the link in the description below or scan the QR code on the top right hand of the screen. All Mint mobile plans include unlimited nationwide talk and text plus lightning fast 5g and mobile hotspot you have a family mint also offers modern family plans that lets you set up a family plan with as little as two lines i've used mint mobile and i had no issues with the actual network i'm always connected to the nation's largest 5g network switching to mint mobile is super easy thanks to their e-sim card you can sign up and activate your phone immediately right from the comfort of your own home you don't have an e-sim that's okay, Mint will ship one out to you for free. It only takes about 15 minutes to make the switch and Mint Mobile does offer excellent customer service. Big Wireless wants you to think that they're the only option. Don't be duped and act now through December 30th and receive an additional three months for free when you purchase the three month plan. Check out the link down below. This offer is available through all plans including unlimited. On the top side, as you guys can see right there, you get your power button, 
you get your PlayStation link button right there, which is a new system that PlayStation has presented in order for you to connect audio, uh, I would say like headphones and earphones because they did create new products in order to connect with that PlayStation link right there. And on this side, you get your volume up and your volume down. These slots here are more than likely the speakers, but let's go ahead and take this off. Let's get the little sound effect. But let's go ahead and power this on for the first time. And there you go, guys. I know it's kind of hard to see it, but you got the PlayStation logo right in the middle. But as this boots up, let's go ahead and see what else comes inside the box. And I would have thought this came with an actual charging cable. Wait a minute, bro. Are you serious, Sony? You guys did not include a charging cable with this? Man, all right, whatever. I guess they want us to use, oh, yeah, fail. There it is. Here's the charging cable. Let's go ahead and lower the volume on this. I ain't trying to get no copyright strike over here with the PlayStation music. You see, I should have looked underneath this box before talking, but oh well, it is what it is. And uh, how the heck? Okay, here we go. This adult proof packaging. I feel like just ripping this entire box up, but it actually is pretty neat. Okay, so you do get a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable, as you guys can see right there. Let's continue setting this up and see what the deal is. As you guys can see right here, on the edge of each half of the DualSense controller, you get this neat little blue light. It kind of represents the actual blue light on the edge of the actual PS5. But let's go ahead and set this up and connect it and see how does it work? So just to let you guys know, the actual screen is a touch screen. As you guys can see right there, look at that. Man, that's pretty neat. Okay, I'm digging it for now. All right, Sony, I see what you did here, but let's continue setting this up. So guys, we initially boot up the PS Portal, connect your Wi-Fi, you will be presented with a software update. Just go ahead and agree to it and continue. And for me, it's going to take approximately a couple of seconds because I am on a one gigabit line. This download will depend on your actual internet speed, but let's go ahead and wait this out a little bit and I will continue right now in a bit. On the actual manual, it does not say PlayStation Portal. Look at that right there. Remote player, isn't that weird? But on the box itself, it says PlayStation Portal, remote player. Uh, Sony, I think your branding is a little bit off on the actual manual, but who cares? All right, here we go, 51%. So guys, while this continues to update, I did wanna to touch base on these actual ports right here. The PlayStation Portal does come with a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, and here is the USB connector so you could go ahead and charge it. The downside to this device itself is it does not support Bluetooth audio. You would think that Sony would actually incorporate that, but if you guys remember, Sony does not like you putting Bluetooth headphones on the actual PlayStation 5 without a dongle. So you have to use a dongle in order for you to connect headphones to the PS5 because it uses a 2.5 gigahertz network. And to me, that sucks. That's one thing I really despise of the PS5 is the fact that they don't allow you to use a Bluetooth headset freely without having to use the need of a dongle. The display itself is a full HD 8 inch screen, 1080p at 60 frames per second. All right guys, the update is done. That's like 20 minutes later or so, but let's see what does this actual initial boot up screen looks like. Hey, look at that, another update, updating control device software. Okay, this one's going a little bit faster than the last one. So we'll let that slide. There it is, PS Link device software. As you guys can see, that's what I was talking about, that device that PlayStation came up with in order for you to connect those new headphones. You could connect the Pulse Elite wireless headset or the Pulse Explorer wireless earbuds. This is taking a little bit longer. All right, time to wait again. All right, guys, there it is. So you wanna go ahead and power on your PS5 in order for you to connect it. As you guys get here, I actually powered on the PS5 and we're gonna go ahead and click select PS5 and there it is, there's my PS5 right there. We're gonna select that. You wanna make sure that you have enabled remote play and you also wanna make sure that you actually have this turned on, connect while PS5 is in rest mode. It presents you with the instructions on how to get to that section. So once you're in your account, what you wanna do is you wanna go to your settings. As you see here, go to settings, 
then go to down to system, remote play. You wanna make sure the remote play is actually turned on. As you guys can see, it's actually on. Then from there, you wanna go into settings, system, power save, settings, and then system, power save, feature available in rest mode. You wanna make sure that you have turn on, stay connected to the internet, as you guys can see right there, that's on. And then also enable turning on PS5 network. So once that's done, click continue and then go to the quick menu to easy change your settings right there. I'm pretty sure we're connected to the PS5 already. Press the circle button or tap on the screen outside of the menu to close it. Okay, it's set up already. All right, so let's see if we could go ahead and boot up a game. Man, there we go. Look at that. Nice. We're connected to the PS5. And so guys, the thing about this device is this is Wi-Fi only. So this does not have the capability of you connecting to your actual cellular data service. You would have to actually piggyback off your own wireless network on your actual phone in order for you to be able to play with this device. So see right there, we left off on that part of the actual uh, screen. We're going to go ahead and try to play some uh, Spider-Man as you guys can see right there. And let's see how this works. So the one neat thing about having this device is if you do happen to have your PlayStation hooked up to the living room, you won't be fighting over the TV and you could actually still game on a nice 1080p screen with capabilities up to 60 frames per second. So let's lower the volume on this. I don't want to get no copyright strike, but here we go. So I'm wondering if the actual device, or should I say the DualSense half controllers have the, oh, I just, I, it just answered my question. Yes, it does have the rumble feature and that's pretty neat. Does it have the adaptive triggers? Oh yeah, it has adaptive triggers as well. Man, look at that guys. My kids might ask me for this device to actually play a little bit of PS5, play some Spider-Man. But man, look at that guys. As long as you have a fast connection in your home and you got a pretty good decent router, you should be good to go. But look at that guys. Let me just land right here real quick so you guys could check it out. Look at the quality on that. That's pretty neat. I mean, it's only 1080p, but then again, if Sony was to put a 4K monitor on this device, can you imagine the bandwidth it would hog up just to try to push that 4K resolution onto the monitor itself? There it is, guys, the PS Portal. Let me know down in the comments below if you actually snagged one of these right here. All right, guys, there it is, the PS Portal. This puppy right here, like I said before, will set you back $199.99. Let me know down in the comments below if you will be picking up a PlayStation Portal. Man, that must have teleported some money into my bank account because I think I'm going to go broke buying all these gadgets. All right, so let me tell you one thing. What do you prefer? Do you guys prefer to actually game without any discs? or cartridges to insert into the device itself, just like on the original PSP, which it was a UMD disc. Remember those discs right there? They used to be in a plastic protector that look half of a U, and I don't know, I'll put a picture of the disc on the corner, and for the actual PS Vita, you used to have cartridges. You used to have the memory stick in order for you to download games onto it. I'm not too sure, but uh, if you think about it, you're gonna kinda hog up all your bandwidth on your cellular data, if you happen to hook this up to your actual phone but other than that i think this is pretty neat to game around the house and if you're actually traveling the only concern i have is sony please please make a hard shell carrying case for this because i don't think stuffing this inside a sock is gonna actually help to protect the the nice little beautiful 1080p screen right here so guys another neat thing don't mind the helicopter that's not what i meant about a neat thing but another neat thing is you know the touchpad on your actual controller well they actually incorporated it into the actual screen so you touch the screen and you get your touchpad right there look at that you get all your little actual missions right here you touchpad you scroll up you scroll down it still has the same functionality that the touchpad has on the actual controller. And as you guys can see, the little mute button right there, press it, you go live, press it again, you turn it off. So let me know down in the comments below, did you pick up a PS Portal and what do you think of it? You know what guys, this looks very promising. At this point, I'm not too sure how often I'm gonna use it, but I spend most of my day up in my gaming area slash office area, so more than likely, 
is gonna be put to good use. So if you're a dad, woo, can't believe I just tossed that in the air. A gaming dad looking for your next portal device to play your PlayStation 5 because your kids hung up the living room TV? Don't forget to check out my latest video. But till next time, guys, I'm glad I didn't drop this. I'm Tech. Peace out. Boy, oh boy, it seems like every video that goes by, the more trouble I'm gonna get into. Let me know if you know how it feels. Peace out.